Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Rainbow! Do you love rainbows? Rainbows are nature's perfect guide to adding color to any project. Also, it's Pride Month and I am so excited to share three cards with you three cards that celebrate the rainbow, that celebrate pride, love, and inclusiveness. If you are here watching me, you are part of my YouTube community and we are all about the love. My trio of rainbow pride celebration cards coming up next. It's just so fun. So here's a look at the three cards I'll be creating today, all colorful celebrations of love and pride. And also I'm batch card making today, which I don't often do. So let's take a look at the products I'll be using. This is the stamp set called You Are Loved. This is a six by eight set, perfect for pride month. You can color in flags, you can color in rainbows, lots of affirming greetings, and there are also coordinating dies that you can purchase to cut everything out. So that's the stamps. I have a rainbow of distress inks that I'm going to paint with today. A little Simon Intense Black, some Versamark, and some fine detail white Simon powder plus a few other things as we go. So let's start out with our cardstock. I'm gonna be using the Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor Cardstock. You can see that nice nubby texture, and I'm going to be stamping on that nubby side because the other side is also very smooth, so it kind of depends on the look you're going for. And I'm gonna take my three images that I plan to paint, get them all going at once, and also this is the eight and a half by 11 card stock from Tim Holtz. So you can buy it in small sheets, but also large sheets. I'm gonna run my hand over all of those stamps to get that residue off because they're brand new. And then I'll bring in embossing magic and just run that all over the surface of the card stock so that when I stamp my embossing ink, the powder only sticks to the embossing and nowhere else on the card stock. I'll ink this up really well with the Versamark Bring in my Debbie tool, which just helps me to add nice, even pressure, pressing the ink into the paper and keeping my wrists in a nice neutral position. Love it. Give that a good press down. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead here and I'll just ink it up a second time. Again, Beauty of the Misty, as long as your paper doesn't shift, you can stamp in the exact same place. And sometimes with that nubbier texture of either watercolor paper or this paper, it's nice to stamp it twice to get a really good impression. I'll sprinkle on my Simon Fine Detail White Powder and just cover all three areas that I stamped because I'm going to be doing your basic emboss resist today. So coating it with white powder, let it sit there for a second and then let it slide off and tap. I don't wanna to tap too hard because I don't want certain areas to you know, completely disappear and that happens sometimes. But that looks pretty good. I'll get my heat tool nice and hot and then quickly bring it to the cardstock to melt the powder. I love having a clothespin for this. If you've ever burnt your fingers, use a clothespin because it gives you just the right amount of clearance to avoid burning your pretty little digits. Next, we're gonna paint. So I'm gonna smush down the colors of my rainbow and I'm only using five today. So I am going to use, however, my reinker for my Twisted Citron. And yes, the label is on my bottle backwards. I have no idea how that happened. I consider it to be special, it's special. But all I'm gonna do here is paint a messy rainbow over each one of these stamped images. Now, of course, the more water you have, the lighter your painted Distress ink is going to be. And just kind of play with it by feel. I think that's one of the coolest things about painting with Distress inks is it's going to look a little different every time. You don't have to be talented as a painter to make this look good. So all I'm doing here is coming in with the second color on each image. And again, you can overlap, right? You can add a little more water in. Just make sure you're leaving room for five colors. Now, I just, I could have, uh, well, I'm forgetting purple here, but I really did only have you know, the five letters of pride. So that's where I decided I'm just gonna limit my colors and just create a bold rainbow that ends in blue. Easy and peasy and breezy. Now look at that little tiny daub of Twisted Citron. It just has so much pigment, I love it. 
It is my favorite of the Distress colors. It's so beautiful. And this is nice and pumped up and it looks great. Again, just a little overlap and move on. And I'm not letting any of these dry in between. I'm just, you know, I'm going for it, getting it all in there. I'm bringing in a little water here on this top rainbow because that felt a little harsh for a transition. And here I'll just come in from the right and right here, fill in from the bottom. And those are my three colorful rainbow emboss resist painted images. So quick to do. And now I'll just let those dry. Isn't that pretty? Moving on. Next, I'm going to take some VersaFine Clear. I changed my mind. I decided I was going to go with a different black ink, so forgive, forgive me for that. But I'm stamping, again, a batch amount here, right? Three at once for greetings. I really wasn't sure what the cards were going to look like, but I figured, you know what? We're going to, we're going to go for it. Again, wiping off some of that residue, inking up with the wonderful Nocturne. It's such a good dark ink and pressing it down. And this cardstock that I'm stamping on, this is Nina Solar White Classic Crest in the 110 pound. I just wanted to have a nice sturdy cardstock because I plan on popping up at least one or two of these greetings. Given that a nice press, and that looked really good, I decided to ink up just the top two. The bottom looked fine. I added just a little more of the Nocturne to the top two and stamped directly on top. Again, giving it a little pressure and that looks great. Now, time to die cut. I've got the coordinating dies lined up here and I'll just run these through my Spellbinders Platinum 6, pop them out, and they're ready to go. I did wait for the ink to dry just like five minutes because this ink has a little more uh, stain power. It takes a little longer to dry, but those look great. While this machine was out, I added the coordinating dies to my colorful stamped and painted pieces, went ahead and cut these out as well. Got my rainbow, got my pride word, and the cute little hands holding the heart, which I think is super cute. All right, three more pieces, let's move on. While the machine's out, I cut out some panels using my A2 layers dies. I cut out three. Here's the first one, I'm gonna do two more, and here's why. I want to dry emboss this cool heart stencil onto each panel for each card. I thought that was appropriate with a the theme of love. And you take your plates out and you put down your rubber mat, your paper, your stencil, your embossing plate, run that through, go back and forth a few times. And the cardstock weight on these panels is the 80 pound Nina Solar White Classic Crest. But check it out. I love dry embossing. Isn't that fun? just a little texture, and I'll do it just a little differently on the remaining panels. Now to create a card, look at the rainbow that popped up onto my score buddy. Did not plan that. I've got this beautiful prism that my best friend sent to me. It hangs in, oh, and there's one on my arm. I was basically surrounded by rainbows, which is super appropriate because the release that this collection is part of is called rainbows. So I don't know, I, I don't even know how that happened. I feel like it was a sign. Anyway, making my card base, right? Here's a USA 2, standard USA 2 size, and I'm going to do two more. And one of them is going to be a black card base. And there were still rainbows happening in the upper left. Ah, love it. And I've got some foam tape here, and I'm just going to pop this panel right onto the black card base. And you can see also this panel, I did the dry emboss. And I've got thin foam squares on the back of this rainbow and the love is love. I'm going to use a little connect glue because what I like to do is pop off the backers, right? Take them off. And then I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue on each dot just because this gives me a little wiggle room to get it perfectly lined up before it sticks permanently. And these foam squares just stick like a mother. So getting that on there loosely bringing in my clear T-square and just quickly, well, I'm going to flip it over. There we go. Just quickly confirming that that's straight. The rainbows line up and press. 
I love the liquid trick. I do this a lot unless I'm really confident in my placement, but most of the time I'm not because I think I'm doing something straight. And then when I finish the card and I step back, I realize that I was not straight. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. But, you know, sometimes for me with a clean and simple card, you know, why not, why not just line it up? Mm, I love it. Now, got to add a little shine. So here we go. A little glue and this wonderful confetti. Pop that down and boop. A little bit on the rainbow. Boop. A little bit right in the center. Oh, get in there. Come on now. Well, there's bubbles here. And boop. And tuck this one under the O. Boop. Got to go higher. Boop. Boop. Higher pitched. And the final boop. And isn't that fun? Just a little connection of five, a nice odd number. And that, oh, and there's the rainbow. I did not plan this. It's not like I called Central Casting and asked for it. They just showed up amazing. So here is a look at the rest of the cards and how I finished them out. I had to put them on a pretty little surface so you could see how nice they looked. I've got my pride card here and I added I love who you are and this one I put on some apple cardstock or I think it's apple and I used pre-printed sentiment strips that are also part of this pride collection for that greeting and then over here I just popped the You Are Loved, and you can see that wonderful dry embossing. Again, just kind of put them in different places every time I ran them through, and those are my finished cards. All the supplies that I used for these cards can be found linked below, and be sure to check out the entire Rainbows release from Simon Says Stamp. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.